viewers. You read the title. <laughs> Four people. Three shirts. Four. One. We got one husband. Two. Three. <laughs> we lost one. Where did your husband go? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and we lost one. Okay, so the funny thing, you know, let's wait. They don't know. They're not here yet. We're early. That's not weird. I can hear, can hear us Mace. on their phones in the background. Yep. Sure oh, he can. moved out of the background. Oh, Sit okay. back down in your seats. All right, so you guys read the title correctly. There are four people here. You can only see two, I understand. But there are only three shirts. <laughs> <laughs> we found this fantastic two-person sweater that we had these, like, grand plans to wear yeah. to a Christmas party this year. And then our Christmas party got canceled. And so hopefully rescheduled. We didn't have anywhere else to wear it. So here we are. People at any Christmas party that we were supposed to be at, but it got canceled and maybe it's going to be rescheduled, forget that you see this. Yes, you people. I feel like you know who you're talking you about. You know who you are. Hey, everybody that's with us. And <laughs> we cannot stand up and do a Someone spin. Someone commented stand up and do a spin. Um, that will not work for us. Nope, that won't. Um, oh, I forgot to get on mine. I'm going to see if we can jump on an Instagram live. What's up? We'll see. We'll see if it works. Sometimes it doesn't. We're still uh, waiting till eight thirty, by the way, yeah. you guys. So we're, we're just hanging out. You lucky ducks, you lucky ducks. Oh, that problem. What? You can't turn it around. Oh yeah, we've had that hey. issue before. Does anybody know? Nope. How to turn around a camera. I remember my first iPhone. I know, me too. No, I really don't. I don't know. It's We're just going to see what happens here. It might get us both. It <laughs> <laughs> I just put the camera in front of Whitney's face. Like, mm hmm. We'll scoot you over. No, we can't see. Comments. Yeah, that's all good. There we go. She's stressing me out. Hey. Rude. I can see the comments again. And uh, that's just Carrie's husband. Yeah, he's being really so sweet. sweet. He is a sweet little guy. Um, so it's almost Christmas. So this is yeah. kind of our Christmas edition. Turning this off. Um, last week, I know that we did a sparkling wine that was a holiday special. Um, one of those really neat labels just for uh, Christmas. And... We've kind of got the same thing tonight. Uh, we don't want to introduce too early because we still got some people jumping on. It's not quite 830, but <clears throat> a little early. It is another just a fun holiday. Um, we're just a few days from Christmas now. Mm, I forgot to update my countdown. You don't have an arm. My mom just joined. Mom, look what we're wearing. It's a two-person sweater. <laughs> when Winnie needs a drink, I have to help her. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. All right, we, we have one arm each. Yes. So. It's all we have. That's it. <laughs> Hold on, my little elf hand. <laughs> That's so weird. High five, <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> Who would hang out with us? Like, no. <laughs> Oh, this is why we have so many friends. <laughs> this is why our husbands are not even sitting in view of the camera. Where are they? Okay. You almost just pulled me out of the chair. <laughs> We've had requests to stand up and spin. Not going to happen. Don't ask for much. Yeah, we're just... Guys, you're getting sad faces because they miss you. Could you just sit on the couch, please? Our title doesn't make sense without you. <laughs> I have to change it. So, in case you guys can't notice, we're having a lot of fun tonight. It's almost Christmas. We're just a few days away from um, Carrie and Lee are going to leave to go up to their hometown for Christmas. Yep. We'll be with our family just right down the street here in Florida, but um, it's almost there. Two more days of work this 
That was so creepy. I just feel so close. <laughs> this is the oddest thing I've ever done. Like, I feel so weird. They should have at least made the two people holding hands. <laughs> I don't think so. Wish I could at least make my guy dance. Oh, wait. You can. <laughs> if I just dance. She's had a crazy day. Hmm. Man. Mm. All right. We're here for a wine, I think. Yeah, so. The sweater is so much Here's going to be the problem. Is that it usually takes two hands to hold the wine up. <laughs> you have to. Hold on. Okay, so tonight we are drinking the uh, Eola Hills Pinot Noir. So they do a special holiday. Uh, they do actually do a full line. You can get on their website and order a holiday trio or a mistletoe trio. And it's their normal blends that they um, always have. They just put them. I don't understand. Like nothing that I said was funny. I'm literally just introducing the line, and you're laughing at me. <laughs> I'm just trying to look at you, but you're just like right there. <laughs> you're the one that made us wear the same shirt. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay, so. sorry. Anyway, so tonight we're drinking Rudolph's Red, which is a Pinot Noir, Eola Hill. <laughs> She's about to do this by herself tonight. <laughs> she Where doesn't... are you going to go? <laughs> I guess I can slide out of my Santa fit. Just slide the camera I don't, over. I can't, I can't with her tonight. So here's what we're drinking. Rudolph's Red, Oregon Pinot Noir. Um, it has a really neat poem on the back that I want to read to you guys. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get through it because this seems to be the theme of the evening. Oh, man. This is fun. We should do this to all of our clothes. Why? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Somebody's laughing at us. Right? I know. All right. <clears throat> so, <laughs> Eola Hills in Oregon, they've got a full uh, line of varieties. They've got a Pinot Gris, a Chardonnay, a Pinot Noir. I believe a red blend, a rosé. Um, I can't think now. They've got also got a full line of dessert wines. They've got some uh, a full line of vintages. They've got a lot of stuff happening there. But for the for Christmas, they did a full holiday line, and it's like I said, they're normal varieties. They just kind of give them a fun Christmas name, give them a cool Christmas label, like Rudolph here, and then you can buy them in special packs just for the holidays. So we, we got our bottle. We found this cutest little poem on the back. Get it together. Poem. Okay. It's so cute. It's a poem. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> the poem. How do you say that? Poem. Poem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The poem reads, <clears throat> history tells of that famous flight when Rudolph's nose lit up the night. But down in the cellar, Santa was thinking, what special wine would people be drinking? The elves and the reindeer were gathered around in hopes that a holiday wine would be found. Then Rudy stepped forward. The place was a hush. Let's bottle a red. We've already a blush. You're right, Santa exclaimed. Red wine we can do. Thanks, dear Rudy. We'll name it for you. So Rudolph's Red is the newest addition, just in time for this Christmas tradition. So cute. I love that. I think that is the cutest little Christmas note on the back of a wine bottle that I've ever seen. Yep. It's adorable. <clears throat> it's kind of like Dreaming Tree. You know, I mean, we always love to, every time we get Dreaming Tree, we like to read the cork yep. the label. We've read it a hundred times. I know. But. but it's just a neat little kind of story behind the wine, story behind the label. Um, it adds a little extra character. It, for me, like, I won't forget this bottle. I won't right. forget this label because of this neat little poem. Right. JD. Those two. Mm -hmm. And there goes That's mom and dad. Thanks, guys. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you. Okay. Poems. Well, earlier I got in trouble for calling it a poem. I found mama. That's what you say. <laughs> what are the colors? What comes after red and a rainbow? Orange. That was better. 
Sometimes she calls it, I, I don't know. Orange. 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 R orange. Orange. Yeah, like A R. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Orange. I'm like, is that a new one? Crayola came up with a new color. Yes. Yes. Basically. Um. <laughs> don't try to move. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to shift a little. I'm gonna pull her out of her seat. Hi, Leslie. Um, so fun. Gosh, we have a dark background. I know. It's, the lighting is not great. Let's use my pale face. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I can't find an angle there. Um, this is like brick red. It is. It's almost brown. And <clears throat> I've always heard a true Pinot, <clears throat> if you're holding your glass and you look down, with a true Pinot, you should be able to see your fingers through the glass. And this is like see-through. <clears throat> Sorry, mm -hmm. I've got like something in my throat now. Yeah, it's um, you're stunning. Very, very dark. dark. Yeah, we uh, don't do that now. Oh my! For for us, we're we're we prefer a heavier red wine. Yes. So this is a little light, but um, I know a lot of people that do drink pinots and yeah, it, I started I think it's off light for a pinot noir. <clears throat> My, I started reds with a Pinot Noir. I did too. That was yeah. my, and I, I mean, I still really like Pinot Noir. It's just a totally different flavor. Yeah, it took me a long time to get into Cabernet, and once I did, I fell in love with it and could not go back. Yep. I mean, I can for occasions. I will drink a Pinot Noir, absolutely, but um, this is a, hmm, it's not super dry. No, it's not. Um, I think it's got a lot of blackberry, so it's almost got a tart smell. A tart strawberry? Mm-hmm. Definitely a tart yep. strawberry. Um, <clears throat> I think that it's a, just a really light body in general. I don't think it's overpowering in aroma. It's not overpowering in flavor. Like we said, it's it's got a really light hue to it, so... I don't know. It's just not carrying a lot of body. It's good, mm -hmm. and I could drink it any time, but it's nothing is really overpowering about it. No, nope. it's good though. I like it. Yeah, I would. It's a. I mean, as far as a Pinot Noir, it's it's a true Pinot Noir. It is a true Pinot Noir, and it's an Oregon Pinot Noir. And I I tend to gravitate towards an Oregon Pinot Noir over any others. Yeah, <clears throat> I think Carrie and I each have our favorite area or region where different varieties come from that we prefer and for me an Oregon Pinot is what I always look for in a Pinot. Yeah. But it's really light. I my, my mom and I drank a uh, my mom and I drank a Pinot Noir the other night that was a, a much heavier Pinot. Really? Yeah. But this is a really really light body. It's throwing me off. It is light body but I get I mean, there's an acidity to this. Mm -hmm. It's throwing me off, though. I expect, I expect there to be like a dry finish to yeah. this, and there's, it's not. It has a very light, short, mm, short, medium mm -hmm. finish. Yeah, it's short. It's easy to drink. I mean, this is this is an easy one. True Pinot Noir. If you're, I mean, if that's yep. your go-to. This is a great holiday wine. This I is agree. a really, really fun one to order. You have to order this from them. So uh, there's right, but this isn't in a store <clears throat> around here. But they had a holiday trio for forty dollars, which was three different varieties, with, all with a different <clears throat> um, holiday label on it. And I right. wonder if they each have different cute little poems on them. I'm back. sure they do. That's I so mean, cute. this one is Rudolph's Red, and it's specifically about Rudolph. Yep. And then just their normal um, varieties, their their normal labels, which I think the labels are really cute. They are adorable. Uh, they were nineteen dollars, so it's not an expensive bottle. Um, great, I mean, this is a great conversation piece to yeah. bring to a party. I we're agree. always talking about like where is the best. What do you want to use this for? Is this something you drink at home? You're going to have with dinner. Um, what's it going to pair with? This is going to pair with like a a holiday event. Yep. Take it with you. 
read the label. It's cute. It's fun to talk about. It's something different. I actually uh -huh. kind of like that you can't go buy this at a store because imagine if this was sitting on the shelf at Seascape Wine and Spirits and you walk in the door and see it, everyone's going to grab this. Yeah. So it's actually kind of cool that you, you can't just run into the store and I grab like it because it does make it unique whenever you bring that with you to an event. Yep. I would definitely order one of the trio packs and for next year. Yeah. To have for holiday parties, to take to family Split get it together. Up. Give it as gifts. That would be so cute it's if you wrapped it really cute, cute so and pulled it out. That's a very cute, memorable gift. It's I not just some agree. random bottle of wine. Everyone loves to get wine. Everyone loves to get, you know, a guest Specialty. favorite. Yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But this would really stand out. And it's really good. It is. I think that any especially for under twenty dollars, any yeah. wine drinker could drink this. I agree. It's very easy. Yeah, I would. I would <laughs> order. I would order a trio. Yeah, I would too. I think I would order holidays. one for myself just to try all of them, mm -hmm. and then another one to split up. And, and I don't gifts. know. I think that all of their holiday trios are red wine, but I'm not sure if you can pick and choose if you would prefer to have whites. Um, I don't. I didn't get all those details from them, but. I'm sure we could. I'm sure we could. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Eola Hills, guys. E-O-L-A. We found it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I was actually just scrolling through Instagram. Um, you know, I like to find different wines by searching, like, the hashtags of wine. My favorite is Wednesday wine. I think that's actually how I found this. <laughs> they were drinking this on a Wednesday. I was like, this is so cute. How do I get it? And um, they were kind enough to send us a bottle to try and share with all of you. So, yeah. Um, any of you guys that are just joining in or haven't seen what we're drinking yet, we're drinking uh, Rudolph's Red. It's an Oregon Pinot. Um, Eola Hills is the vineyard that it's from. Be really cute with Christmas. There was, you know what? I was really surprised um, this year. Christmas shopping. There is a lot of really fun Christmas wine accessories and fun wine bags. And I saw some I of the found... cutest Christmas wine bags this year. They were adorable. And I think I only gave like one yeah. bottle like away as a gift. Well, I bought three really cute wine bags to use as gifts. And um, they just had all kinds of stuff. I wanted to get all of it. You should have. Remember, even we went to um, Home Goods. We were walking through there oh, yeah. and they had like the cutest <laughs> little wine bottle stoppers of like a blown glass <laughs> Christmas tree and a Santa Claus and a snowman. They even had a little snow globe. Yep. Just cute little stuff everywhere. This kind of wine plus like a, a Christmas wine. Reach what's behind you. What are you so excited? I only have one arm. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why you have to reach it. Oh, this I guy? definitely can't. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. No. I can't turn the light off. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is hysterical. It flashes. <laughs> she hilarious. should not be allowed to buy things. It does sometimes flash. What are you? I don't know. Oh, I see it. Yeah. I messed something up. Did you up. break it? I might have broken it. I'll yeah. just make it flash for you guys. <laughs> this is the cutest way to give a wine bottle, actually. Super adorable. It's the cute little Christmas tree thing. Wrapped in little lights. Home Goods is not a Wednesday Wine Club official sponsor. <laughs> Thank you. What's the word that we're supposed to say, Lee? Not an ad. I don't know. <laughs> Been dying to do that. I don't know what is wrong with her today. We should go everywhere in this. We would not make it very far because I would probably Alexis, slip out. You're just joining us. Check out our sweater. I know. Oh, goodness. Guys, share this video. Uh, share all your friends. They're definitely going to want to see our sweater. If you feel like you need one of these, well, too bad. We got it at Walmart. <laughs> not an official sponsor. Not an official sponsor of the Wednesday Wine Club. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas, everybody. We hope that you have happy and safe holidays. And we're I will jump. I will slip out of this sweater. <laughs> but she's you doing. cannot individually spin in this. Yeah. It's a sweater. Yes. Maria, this is a sweater. It's one. Okay. All right. Merry Christmas, guys. Bye, guys.